Hello everyone, today we'll be learning how to download Curator CE, which is the community edition, and install it on VMware products. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go on to um, Google and download Curator. So you search download Curator, and once that opens up, you click on the Curator Community Edition. So as we can see here, you can hit the download button to download the OVA file for Curator 7.3.3. So before we download that file, I would like to let you know that IBM has some recommended requirements. So, well, they're actually not uh, recommended, they're requirements. So you have to have the, this minimum system requirements for your Curator to work smoothly. So the first thing you need is Eight gigabytes of RAM minimum, ten gigabytes if you'll be using application. The disk space has to be a minimum of two hundred and fifty gigabytes. You need two cores or six. Um, you need a network card with access to the internet, and you also need a static IP address. So um, the whole reason why you need a static IP address with this is because um, curator complains or doesn't like when you use dynamic IP addresses. It doesn't work too good with dynamic IP addresses. So for this tutorial, we will be doing all that. So you can go ahead and download the Curator Community Edition. Once you try to do that, it wants you to create an account. I already have an account, so I did download um, the Curator OVA file. And creating an account is free, so you don't have to worry about paying for anything. So once that is done, we'll create the new VM and we'll go to um, import the OVA or OVA file. We'll go next. We'll give it a name. So we'll call this Curator CE or Community Edition. You drag and drop or select the OVA file you downloaded, which is on my desktop right here. And then I'll go next. And once that is done, um, you will select where you want to save it at. Remember, you have to put it on a drive or data store like um, ESXi calls it that has enough free space, at least 250 gigabytes minimum. So we'll go next. And then you select the network card. Um, with this, um, for this lab, my network is bridged, so it connects directly to my local network. So I'll select the switch BET servers where I have most of my servers installed. Then we'll go next. You want to check and make sure. The only thing you want to check to make sure it's correct on here is the VM name because that's for the rest. Um, you also need to check the network card you assign. For the rest, you really can't change those. So we'll hit finish and let it import the image. After importing the OVA image for Curator CE. As we can see, it assigned just six gigabytes of memory and two CPUs. I'd like to go in there, so I'll edit the settings to change this. At this point, I will give my Curator CE 10 gigabytes of RAM because I'll be using applications, and I'm just gonna give it four CPUs. And I'll save that. Once you save that, we can now go on and power on our VM and start the actual installation. So once it powers on, um, I sent OS Linux because um, Curator CE is being installed on top of a sent OS operating system. At this point, all you need to do is enter root to login and then we will create a root password so enter your most secure password at this point what we need to do is give our curator virtual machine a static ip address we can see if we do ipa we do have the IP address 192.168.1.3, and we can see that my domain did as my domain controller did assign uh, to this Q 
Curator CE Virtual Machine a default host name. I will clear this and we will go ahead and change this to a static IP address and we're going to change the host name. So to do this, what we need to use is something called the Network Manager Text User Interface. How do we use that? So all you need to do is type in the command NMTUI and it takes us to that Network Manager User Interface. And then we'll edit the connection. Yes, wireless connection, we'll hit edit. On here, we can change the profile name. I will change the profile name to ENS333 to match the device name. And once that's done, we will go down to IPv4 configuration and we're going to change this to manual. And once you set that to manual, you have to hit show. And at this point, you can set up your static IP address. So I'll give it 192.168.1.7. This may be different in your environment, so whatever IP range your environment uses, you can set up an IP that matches. So if you wanted to give this virtual machine another IP address, you're going to hit add. But at this point, we just want it to have one IP address. And then we'll give it a default gateway, which is my router in this at this point or for this particular instance. We'll add a DNS server going to do 1968.1.13 and we'll add another one on that 1.68.1.1 okay and that's it so if you have IPv6 you can always configure that to um, manual or static IP but in my environment I don't use IPv6 so I'm just going to ignore and once you're done you tap over to OK Curator dot B E T A dot com. And once you do that, we'll tab and we'll hit OK. It's going to ask us, do you want to set the host name to curator dot B E T A dot com? We'll do OK. And once you do that, you're just going to go down to quit and we'll exit. So at this point, if you use the command IPA, we're going to see that um, our IP address hasn't changed. So we're going to do sudo. sudo shutdown r for restart and then now to restart our virtual machine so the settings we just changed can go ahead and be applied to the system Once we come back on, all we need to do is log in. So I'm going to log in as root, and then you use the password you set up the first time. Once you're in, you can just do IPA to make sure the IP address was set to the IP address that you wanted to use. And since all that's been taken care of, all we need to do now is start the actual curator CE setup. Because the first thing we did was to configure our sent OS 7 which our curator runs on so at this point you're just going to do full stop back setup enter and then it presents you with the sent OS 7 Linux EULA temps and we'll hit accept which is enter and you go all the way down once you read all this lovely third party terms and conditions or whatever, you hit Q to quit and then you accept with enter. Once that's done, it's going to ask you or remind you that you're about to install Curator CE 7.3.3 .3 .3 
onto this system do you wish to continue yes we do and at this point all you need to do is wait so it might take anywhere between 10 and 30 minutes based on the speed of your virtual machine and once that's done it's going to ask us to set up the user account for the admin administration for the UI so at this point of the video I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back once we get to that stage once the installation is complete and you get to this point all you need to do is type in your password you want to use for the user interface so um, this is going to be the administrator password uh, so we'll do a password here confirm the password once that is confirmed our installation is finally completed so all we need to do is exit the command line and we will go on the browser of your choice. I prefer Chrome. So we do HTTPS 192.168.1.7. That should take us to our curator UI. Once that opens up, all you need to do is type admin and the password you set for the admin user. You just hit login. That should bring you to a license agreement screen. You can read that and once you're done, you hit accept. And finally, our Curator installation is done. As you can see on here, this is how the UI or the user interface is going to look like. We can go to Log Activity. And there we go. You may or may not see any logs as of right now because we haven't configured any servers or network devices to send logs into Curator yet. But that completes our installation. I will make future videos how to go into the administrative tab and add some configurations in here and also how to send logs into Curator. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hit the like button if you like my video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.